Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate fair value of future under the subject commodity and derivative market. Again, a must for TYBMS student. In this video, we are going to solve various sums, okay, which will cover up under the topic fair value of futures. There are two methods which we need to cover up. Both the methods will be covered up in this video itself. Okay, Chalo. so without any ado, we will start with the first method of calculating the fair value of future. Okay, now let us see what are the various types of sum which will come based on the topic fair value of futures. Now remember, you can you are expected two questions from this particular topic. So around 15 marks, this particular topic carries. Okay, now there are two parts in calculating the fair value of future. The part one is based on simple interest. The formula is given that fair value of future is equal to spot price into the interest rate for n months. Okay, to make it more simple, the formula is given as spot price into 1 plus r into n, that is the number of months upon 12. Okay, so there are two methods. First one is based on simple interest. So we'll be solving three sums which will be based on simple interest. So let us start with the very first one. Number one. Again, this topic is very important for all the BMS students. Okay, 15 marks are, you know, are expected to come from this particular topic. So we will start with the first one. The cost of 10 gram gold in spot market is 30,000 rupees. The locker rent is rupees 300 for three months and the insurance is rupees 150. If the prevailing interest rate is 10% per annum, calculate the fair value of three months future contract. So now here, they have asked us to find the fair value of future which is equal to the formula is spot price into 1 plus r into n divided by 12 now in the sum the spot price was made up of 10 gram gold which is rupees 30,000 But along with that, you even spent locker rent of 300. So that get added to the spot price and even insurance of 150 rupees. So if only they would have given us gold, we would have directly taken a 30,000 as a spot. But they have even additionally, they have added some expenses that also gets added to your spot price into one plus the rate given is 10%. So we will take it as 0 0.10 into the number of months. Now they have to ask you to find the future contract for three months future. So it will be three divided by 12. So 30,000 plus 300 plus 150 together will give you 30,450 into one plus. Now three divided by 12 is four. So we will take it as 0 0.110 upon four. Now 30,450 into this will give you one plus now 0 0.10 divided by four will give you 0 0.025 finally we added up to 30,450 into one plus so that will become 1.025 you multiply them and you will get your final answer as rupees 31,211.5 okay so you multiply them you get your final answer so a fair value of future for three months is 31212.25 so very simple sum just have to apply into the formula get those values you know substitute the values and get your final answer now this was the first sum based on simple interest now we'll take up second and third sum Okay, here is the second question and the third question. So we are going to start with first the second question. It given that if the cost of 10 gram gold in the spot market is rupees 35,000 and the locker rent is 1,000 for three months insurance is 250 and interest is 7% per annum. Calculate the fair value for three months future contract on gold. Again, they are asking us to find the fair 
value of futures okay formula is again spot price Since they haven't mentioned us anything about compound, so we assume it is simple interest into one plus R into n divided by twelve. Now the spot price here again thirty-five thousand was for the gold. We added thousand rupees locker rent, and we added two hundred and fifty rupees ka insurance into. One plus the rate is seven percent, so zero point zero seven into three upon twelve. So when we added up, we got this as thirty six thousand two hundred and fifty into one plus. Now again three divided by three and twelve, so that will become four. So it will become zero point zero seven divided by four. So thirty six thousand two hundred and fifty into. Now this would give you. One plus now zero point zero seven. When you divide it by four, you get approximately zero point zero one seven five. So last step six two five zero thirty six thousand two fifty into one plus. So that will become one point zero one seven five. So you multiply it, we get your final answer approximately thirty six thousand eight hundred and eighty four point three seven five. To make it more stagnant, we will take the value as rounding up at three thousand six hundred eighty-eight four point three eight. So that's the final answer. So the fair value for future is rupees thirty-six thousand eight hundred and eighty-four point three eight. Now, similar topic, but a different variation in the question can also be asked. Now let's see the third example. Max wants to invest in Nifty futures. The spot price is six thousand with a contract size of ten. He can borrow the funds at twelve percent per annum. Calculate the fair value of two months Nifty future. Again, nothing new. It's the similar way. So first, we'll find the fair value of future. Fair value of future. Again, similar formula. So that is spot price into. One plus R into n divided by twelve. So the spot price in this case was six thousand into one plus R. The rate is twelve percent, so zero point one two. Now two months future, so it will be two divided by twelve. So this gives us six thousand into now two divided by twelve is one upon six, and zero point one two divided by six will give you zero point zero two. So my value will be. One plus zero point zero two. So our next step will be six thousand multiply by one point zero two. You multiply, you get the answer as six one two zero. Now this is the fair value of future for one contract. Now here they have given us that uh, you want to invest in a contract size of ten. So therefore, the effective total. The effective total will be now the future value of one contract was six one two zero. We have to multiply that with the total number of contracts. So in this case, it was ten contracts. So we multiply by ten. So my final answer will be the final fair value will be sixty one thousand two hundred. We were multiplying this with the ten contracts. So amount will be sixty one thousand two hundred rupees. So these were the three sum which were based on calculation of the fair value of future based on simple interest. Okay, now we'll be solving the second method which will be based on compound interest. Again, there we have we'll take up couple of example to clear the entire concept of futures. Okay, where they ask us to find the fair value. Okay, so now we'll start with the second method that is calculation based on compound interest. Okay, now this is the second part where we are asked to find the fair value of future based on compound interest. Now the formula is for fair value of future under compound interest: spot price into interest for n months, which is equal to spot price into one plus R 
divided by 12 raised to the power of n. So now this is the difference between the simple interest and compound interest. Now let us see how we use this in the actual sum. The spot price of gold is 28,000 rupees. Locker rent was 500 and insurance was 500. Interest rate on borrowed fund is 12% per annum. Compounded on monthly basis. This is compound base. What will be the fair value of 3 months future contract? Now let us see how we need to solve this. So again, the heading will be we are finding the fair value. So it will be fair value of future which is spot price into 1 plus r divided by 12 raised to the power of n. Now the spot price given here of the gold is rupees 28,000 plus the rock locker rent of 500 plus the insurance of 500 into 1 plus the rate was 12 percent so 0 0.12 upon 12 raised to the power of n that is for 3 months so divide uh, you know raised to the power of 3 now 28 plus 5 plus 5 is 29,000 into now 0 0.12 divided by 12 will give you 0 0.01 so it would be so the total is 29 now, now this will become uh, 0 0.12 divided by 12 so that is 0 0.01 so your value would be 1.01 raised to the power of 3 so when you cube it okay the answer that you all should have got would have been 29,000 into 1.01 zero three zero three zero one now the last step very simple just to multiply them twenty nine thousand into one point zero three zero three zero one that will be approximately twenty nine thousand eight hundred and seventy eight point seven two nine you round it up and we get the answer as twenty nine thousand eight hundred and seventy eight point seven three so our future value under compound interest Okay, is 29,878.73 for the particular sum. So very simple. The only change between the simple and compound interest is the interest part. Okay, the rest everything remains the same. Chalo, now we'll take up another two more questions based on compound interest. And with that, you know, this entire chapter based on futures and various types of futures that can come into your exam will be completed. So now we'll take up the second and the third sum. Okay, now the next sum is the spot price of Nifty is 32,750. The cost of financing is 15% per annum compounded on monthly basis. Calculate the fair value for two months Nifty future. Okay, so again, they are asking us to find the fair value. So we'll note down the fair value of future is equal to spot price into 1 plus r upon 12 raised to the power of n. So in this case uh, the nifty spot price was 32,750 into 1 plus the rate is 15 percent so 0 0.15 upon 12 raised to the power of 2. Now 32,750 into 1 plus now on our calci 0 0.15 divided by 12 gives us 0 0.0125 raised to the power of 2. So this will turn up to be 32,750 into 1.0125 raised to the power of or, or raised to square now after squaring this number okay we get the value as 32750 into 1.0252 lastly when you multiply you get your final fair value ka answer that is rupees 33575.30 Okay, again, just have to substitute the value into the formula and solve it down. Okay, it's very simple. So this was the second answer of fair value of future. Now we jump to the third question. 
Now it is said that if cost of one kg silver is fifty thousand and the locker rent is three thousand for a month, the interest rate on the borrowed fund is twelve percent per annum. Then which is compounded on monthly basis, so compound interest. What will be the fair value for one month contract? So again, fair value of future is spot price. Into one plus R divided by twelve raised to the power of n. So the spot price given here was fifty thousand for silver plus three thousand the locker rent. Rate is one plus the rate was twelve percent so zero point one two upon twelve, and it is monthly basis so raised to the power of n. So here it will become fifty three thousand into now when you divide these two values you get. One plus zero point zero one raised to the power of one. When we add it, it will be fifty three thousand into one point zero one raised to the power of one, which is again the same value itself. So finally, you multiply, you get a final answer as rupees fifty three thousand five hundred and thirty. That is the future value. Okay, the fair value of future for one month for the question number three. Okay, so with this. the sum which are based on future value under compound interest also gets completed so in this video we had studied we learned two methods to calculate the fair value of future that is under simple interest and compound interest okay you are expected that you know either one of them or either even even both of them can appear approximately 15 marks will come from this particular chapter very simple sum see that everyone practice sum which are similar basis pe Okay, just note down the formula and substitute the value. Okay, I hope everyone has understood that. With that, we end this video here. Okay, stay tuned. There is one more topic which needs to be completed under commodity and derivative market, which is based on hedging. Okay, the same video will be uploaded soon. Thank you.